Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. There we go, much better. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our van build series. If you're new here, my name is Jordan and together with my fiance Lise, we're converting this 2022 Ford Transit. Travel here in about a month. I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock these doors out. Made a window frame for one of them. I don't think this should take that long, but also don't know where I'm gonna mount to. Cause I really don't wanna drill any more holes in the van. Part of me thinks I don't really have a choice. Get into it. All right, we're gonna pop this off. And spray the adhesive and put it in there. Okay, we're gonna put this up in pieces. So I kind of did the thing that I said I was gonna do. I think I need to style it still, but I don't know. It is what it is. So I think I left off at. We got this piece cut. Go ahead and put some framing pieces in. Alright, now we gotta router out the window opening itself. So I gotta go find a bearing that actually works because they've all been breaking. Alright, so now I gotta mark where this little latch is. Take a piece of paper and set it on top, and then I drew on the van itself, right here, and I just did some lines across. So today we're going to be prepping. We're gonna be finishing up the cargo door. Uh, I got one piece up already. I finished both of the doors yesterday. I had to create this little mechanism that still allows us to access the manual lock. So yeah, sanding, filling in holes, stuff like that. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out today. It's gonna to be a long day. <laughs> Now we're gonna go through and fill in any holes from like nails, knots in the wood, that way it'll give us a smooth surface to paint on once we sand everything down again. We already went over it with the 180 grit sandpaper. So I was filling in cracks with wood filler, which wasn't really a good idea because wood filler doesn't really hold up well like filling cracks. So I caulked the cracks and then we'll wood fill the holes. Yeah, my neighbor brought over some cold brew. He has like this coffee company and we've been buying his like regular ground coffee. It's really good, it has like a really nutty, kind of buttery taste. And he's been talking about the cold brew that they make, so I told him to bring me over some when he gets a chance. It's really good, good pick me up to get me through the day. So currently, kind of tying up from the loose ends I had, I had to cut the track for the LED light that's going underneath, and I didn't like how how wobbly this is. So what I'm gonna do is, I cut some cross members that I'm gonna put inside. Hopefully that'll stiffen it up. Sanding, part two. I got 120 grit. I guess it'll be the last time I sand and then we go ahead and start putting the primer down for the walls. Cold pizza Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. I'm gonna start sanding all this and we're gonna go ahead and paint the insides. 
on the outside, whatever's not visible, because we have the lime wash paint for that. Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is. Cold pizza on a Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. All right, so now I'm going through and filling in splits, nail holes, faces that aren't like too large to be filled with wood filler just to make it look as nice as we can, just stuff like that. I think I like it how it is. So I got a base coat on a lot of this. We are going to sand it. I'm going to do a 240 grit sandpaper, sand it, and then hit it with one more coat, and that should be good. Painting and sanding is not fun, but it's a whole lot better than cabinets. progress update for you got both doors both doors i have been sanding and filling cracks and sanding filling cracks i think i've sanded then the inside of this place at least three or four times these took the most time they're smooth there's a couple of rough patches but i don't think it's going to get any better than that because you really need a smooth surface when you're painting if you want it to have like that a good finish quality you know finish this door honestly there's not much to it i know i didn't film it um i cut the pieces and i just used some self-tapping screws and drilled it right in we're gonna get to painting so to start off apparently this is supposed to do the whole van i don't know i'm a little optimistic about that primer then we have a base a secondary coat and then we have a third coat so in total it's going to be five coats hopefully all the casework and stuff being in the way because we're not going to paint inside casework i've already done a little bit of that on both sides did the upper cabinets um the only reason i'm kind of filming this one is because this is like a special like limestone paint i think it's popular popular in like italy places like that it gives it like this lime wash appearance i don't really know how to explain it i guess you'll just see the before and the after this is the brand we went with valspar vassar plaster vassar plaster sorry So as expected, we ran out. I'm honestly not sure how this stuff is supposed to look after it's applied. It has this rough texture to it. At first I was like, when I was applying it, it's pretty much clear. So I applied more on this, which I don't know if it's supposed to look like this or not, but the rest of the van, like barely there. I think what the issue is, is Home Depot said it covered 1,200 to 1,500 square feet for the court. I think that's what we based it off of. We didn't have enough. Kind of see where I stopped on the ceiling and underneath. So we ordered some more on Amazon. We'll have it in a few days, hopefully. I will see y'all then. Paint day. All right, guys, we got a special guest debut appearance. Hey, guys, I'm back. Jordan's going to put me to work. It's my turn to take over the reins. Get this van done. You started it, but I'm going to finish it. No, she won't. I have to, like, be on my tippy toes. I borrowed your ugly shirt. Disrespect. <laughs> yeah, so we got our primer base coat on. It has, like, this really rough texture. Yeah, it's kind of it's, hard to see because I don't have like that's that the point. It's a lime paint. We have these brushes that are really thick, and we're gonna do like zigzag motions to paint it on so that it has kind of this texture so it looks more artisanal than just like artisanal, a roller. Yeah, paint. That's the word I would use. Yeah, it's artisanal. Yeah, that word. I got two colors because one looked a little bit too dark and one looked a little bit too light. So we're gonna do the darker coat first and then we're gonna finish it off with the lighter coat. Don't tell me how that works, because that makes no sense. Dark coat, then light coat, but... Yeah, because if you put the light coat, then the dark coat will cover the light coat. This is kind of like a translucent paint. So when you put the dark coat first, the light coat will go on top. The dark coat... And then the dark coat will, like, 
we'll shine through it because it's translucent. I don't know if I believe that, but we'll get it on and we'll see how it works. I've never done this before. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bunch of stuff on my hand. Alright, you ready to get into it? Yeah. We'll hop out for the camera. You excited to be here? I can tell. Luckily, it's a chilly day. It's, just, it's actually kind of cold. Yeah, of course, the day that she comes out, I've been out here like the 90 degree weather. All right, so we're using Vasari. Vasari Lime Plaster and Paint. The finest finish on earth. It's gonna be the finest van on earth. These are the paint brushes we use. I think it's like six inches. And so we're gonna start off with Fossil, which is the darker paint. The second color is a white sand, number 12. And we got two quarts of each. We're gonna do one layer of the first one and one layer of the second one. And then we're gonna finish it off with a mineral sealer, which makes everything like waterproof. So it's gonna be nice and durable. They gave us these cool stickers. Put all the stickers on the wall. You don't put stickers. When we travel, we're gonna put stickers no. all on the wall. You do not put bumper stickers on a Ferrari. Unless you're cool. We need to go on their YouTube channel and check how this is applied before we start. Get my little place set up. All right, get to work. Rolled, sprayed, sponged, and even back traveled. She didn't look at his strokes. She didn't even come prepared. Right, brush, cloth, so we just need to like sponge or even trowel to accentuate the color. Sheen. Let's see it. <laughs> It lines up a lot. Fake limestone paint. How does it feel? It's a little therapeutic. You're doing so good. Right? Yeah. It's natural. It's kind of a workout. Tell me about it. Try <laughs> rolling the ceiling. I've lost 10 pounds since painting. It makes sense why you were losing weight and I wasn't. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how good is our bang going to look? It's going to be like 7. Shut up. Thousand. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> wow. Wow, only that much more to go. I got like a softball arm. My you got this. Come on. My rotator cup is getting kind of sore. Let me assist. Wait, I probably should have done a trial run on a different piece of wood. Put this layer first, and then the next layer, let it dry, and then do another swatch with the opposite, and then do another swatch with them mixed and see what they look like. Too late. Cool. Now she's up. Think about it until now. Too busy watching Bridgerton. We could have done this days ago. This was paint day. I guess now it's just a mystery and whatever it is, it's meant to be. Yeah. I've learned something throughout this process. Okay. Everything works out. Is that a hair? Are you just painting over the hair? It's a brush hair. That's character. Now we gotta wait till the 24th, which is a while away. I mean, there's quite a few things I could do in the meantime. So as you can see, we got quite a bit painted. Um, we got all the primer on. We just did not have enough of the fossil, like our first coat. So we ordered a few more of those. Those won't get here for a few days. So as much as I hate leaving an episode unfinished, because that was like my goal, um, I don't really have a choice this week. Try and be consistent, you know? We get what we get done and whatever we don't, you know, we just save for the next week, so. That's going to be it. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, now no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go.